This is vlog 54 and it is the 31st of May and it's Pentecost Sunday. Now in a few vlogs previous I've made the statement that the Holy Spirit is the most important person on this earth and he is. But he's also the funniest person on this earth. And this is Pentecost Sunday and if anybody knows me they know that fire is my thing. <clears throat> I'm into fire, I want more fire, I want to experience the fire, engage the fire, release the fire. Everything about fire is my thing. So because the Holy Spirit is the funniest person on this planet, today on Pentecost Sunday he's told me to talk about water. So here we go. Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3 and it says this. Therefore with joy you shall draw water from the wells of salvation. You shall draw water from the wells of salvation. So we'll start with the last word first, salvation, Yeshua, deliverance, uh, victory, health, prosperity, favour, revival, uh, restitution, restoration, renewal, reformation, safety, welfare, completeness, wholeness, a whole massive amount of good stuff is in the word Yeshua. And it says that you will draw water from the wells of Yeshua. One of the tactics of the enemy in days gone by in the natural but also spiritually is to block up the wells. Block up the wells so they can't be used. Or Jesus put another way. The cares and concerns of this world choke the word. Block up the water source. Block up where you can get this living water from. Cares, concerns, worries, fears, anxiety, stress, false loyalties, false responsibilities, uh, religion, wrong relationships, all of various things can just block up the wells of salvation. Where are the wells of salvation? They're in your spirit. But if the enemy knows he can block them up by putting all this rubbish in your soul, then those, that living water, the water of Yeshua, which delivers and heals and prospers and favours and revives and restores and renews and heals, will never ever flow into your life. So these wells have to be unblocked. And they're unblocked by faith. You speak to those wells within you and you command them to be unblocked in the name of Jesus. Remember name, position, authority, character and honour. Unblock them in the name of Jesus. And then it says at the beginning, therefore with joy. Not with religion, not with theology, not with doctrine, not with uh, Bible studies or meetings, or conferences, or Zooms, or vlogs, or blogs, but with joy you shall draw living water from the wells of salvation. You shall draw, with joy, you shall draw living water from the wells of deliverance, from the wells of victory, prosperity, and health, revival, renewal, restitution, transformation, reformation, with joy. Joy is the key, or joy is the container, or the bucket, which brings up this living water of salvation. We, Paul said to Timothy, Paul said in one of his letters, work out your salvation. We are to work out our salvation, and we are to work it out in the power of joy. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of joy. He's not the spirit of misery. He's not the spirit of depression, oppression. He's not the spirit of sadness or grief, but he is the spirit of joy. It is his nature. And joy is a weapon. Joy is a weapon against religion. Joy is a weapon against controlled, manipulative Christianity, which has everybody sitting exactly the same, looking the same, talking the same, and... Nobody dares laugh in church. Well, joy is a weapon. And Satan doesn't want the joy of the Lord being released in and through the people of God. Because when the joy of the Lord is released in and through the people of God, salvation breaks out in their lives. Salvation breaks out in their souls. Salvation breaks out in their bodies. Salvation breaks out in their spheres. And dominion becomes established. Joy releases dominion. 
That's why so many religious people do not like it when the spirit of joy comes upon a believer and they feel very uncomfortable or they call it emotionalism or they want to shut it down. Well, in the name of Jesus, let the joy flow today. Laughter is a medicine and remember, Jesus is Lord and the Lord is a warrior.